Continue our team coverage on this weather situation now in West Seneca, where this major meltdown today is really, really causing some waterways there, especially one major waterway, to rise very quickly. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley live on the scene for us in West Seneca tonight. Ed. Well, Keith, Governor Cuomo has been in town for six days to oversee efforts to deal with this storm. And today, the big concern was the warm up and the quick melt off of all the snow. And so the governor wanted to see for himself some, fl some flood prone areas that had the potential for trouble. The first stop was in West Seneca on Willowdale Drive. This area has a history of destructive flooding from Casanova Creek. Joined by a homeowner and other officials, Governor Cuomo walked to the water's edge to see what was happening. Uh, damage um, was so bad years ago, a few homes were lost and the life. Throughout the day, Casanova Creek fluctuated with its levels, but so far, no major problems. We then said the next question was going to be what happens to seven feet of snow? And if anything happens quickly, it's going to be bad news. So we were prepared for potential flooding. The National Guard is deployed and on guard here in case flooding does occur. But they were not standing idle. Instead, going door to door, helping shovel out residents and getting an enthusiastic response. These men are shoveling me out. <laughs> The, thank you for your service. Cayuga Creek in Lancaster is another area that officials are keeping a close eye on. Well, I've been here for 10 years. I've never seen it like this. You can see how water is raging through Como Park, making this footbridge almost disappear underwater. And making a rescue with these type of conditions requires special training. And that's why members of the New York City Fire Department Swift Water Rescue Team are stationed at the Lancaster Fire Department. How many of these did you bring up? Six. This afternoon, the team showed off some of its special equipment to the governor and in return a thank you to everyone who came to help. But to all the people who really pitched in a heartfelt thank you. While major flooding has not occurred there have been some minor problems like this one on Transit Road and in low-lying parking areas like this. Now, officials are reminding everyone who live in flood prone areas to remain vigilant. And just to give you an idea just how high some of these creeks are, Casanova Creek, which is right behind me, is right now recorded at about 10.7 feet. The flood stage actually starts at 10 feet, so it's already over its flood stage level. And Cayuga Creek is now being recorded at 8.92 feet. It's also over its flood stage level of 8 feet. And also Buffalo Creek up there as well. So people in all those areas re being reminded tonight to stay extra. Extra vigilant because the water levels are still very high. Live in West Seneca, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, good, thanks, Ed. Now, less than one hour ago, Erie County Executive Mark Polencar is providing us with an update on how the county is moving forward now with the big cleanup effort from all the snow and now flooding preparations. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jill Perkins live in Cheektowaga for us tonight. Jill? Well, Keith, good evening. Drivers, some very inf very important information to pass along to you to keep you safe tonight. Erie County Executive Mark Polencar is announcing several road closures are in effect right now in our area due to flooding. These affected and impacted areas include parts of Orchard Park, Alden, Elma, Marilla, Boston, and many more. Now, representatives from the Erie County Sheriff's Office were also just here at a press conference urging people, turn around, don't drown. That is because several roadways in our region covered with three to four inches of water as the temperatures rise and the rain continues to fall. Now, even though it seems like the worst might be over at this point, snow uh, quickly being removed off of the ground, the temperatures feeling almost spring-like out there, Mark Polencar is reminding people to take this situation very seriously. I want people to take this seriously. I know that the driving bans have been lifted, but that shouldn't be a reason for you just to drive around on a joyride. Especially tonight, the Bills are playing. We have an opportunity to watch the Bills game, especially if the winds pick up. We don't want people on the roads where trees can come down on their vehicles, power lines can come down on their vehicles. Uh, it's still a very difficult situation out there. As I said, we, we are seeing areas of sporadic flooding on roadways, as well as here of flooding, flooded basements and the like. 
to expect an influx in power outages as the night continues. That, of course, because of high winds that will move, be moving into our region. I also want to pass along to you some very important information. The Red Cross is centered at Iroquois Middle School. That's where they have their main shelter up and running right now for any residents who might be imp impacted by flooding at this point. There are also other several shelters around in volunteer fire departments and things like that. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll have the latest as this ever-evolving situation continues to develop with road closures and flooding here in Erie County. For now, though, we're live in Cheektowaga. Jill Perkins, 7 Eyewitness News.